everyone, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to show you the most recent and most effective build for the Malenia's Hand. It's a unique katana that deals only physical damage, has a decent bleed buildup, but what I like the most of it is that you can use the Waterfall Dance, that is the special movement on Malenia, and you can replicate it exactly as she performs it. And I'm going to use this build to defeat every major boss of the DLC without taking a single hit. So let's jump straight into the build. To get the max performance of this weapon and to have an optimal build, we are going to use 50 on Vigor, 26 on Mind, 40 on Endurance, 16 on Strength, 99 on Dexterity, 25 on Fade and 16 on Arcane. Golden Vow and Flame Grandia Strength are going to be our main buffs. And as you can see I'm using the Swarm of Flies cause it's a very useful spell that will allow you to build the bleed faster and in this case easier as the weapon cannot be infused and its passive bleed build up is not that great. As you can see I have my Scattership Blessing on the level 20 and if you want to deal the max amount of damage possible to the hardest DLC bosses, be sure to have it on the level 20 as well. We are going to be using the hand of Malenia on plus 10, any seal we have available to cast our buffs, we are going to use any weapon with the Raptor of the Mistache of War to easily dodge their advanced light explosion attack, but it also works to dodge the charge attack of the Commander Gaius that is very annoying at the start of the fight. And if you want to start the fight with the bleed buffs active, you can use any weapon with Seppuku, however this step is completely optional. I'm going to be rocking the Dancer's Armor set cause it will increase the damage of the Waterfall Dance by 10%, however if you want to boost your overall damage you can use the Rakshasa's Armor set that will increase your damage by a total of 8% if you wear the entire set. You can combine both options with the white mask but I will not do it cause it looks horrible. And the weapon will deal a very good amount of damage only using the dancer's armor set. The best talismans we can use for this build are the Shard of Alexander, the Roaring Windsor Insignia, the Millicent's Prosthesis and the Lord of Blood's Exultation. But in some cases using the Blade of Mercy is a very good option as well. In our flask of wondrous physique we are going to use the Blood Sucking Crack Tear and the Thorny Crack Tear. In case you don't want to use the Blood Sucking Crack Tear feel free to use any other you find useful. With this weapon we are going to be dealing only physical damage, that's why our best body buff is going to be Blood Boil Aromatic. Just be aware that Flame Grant Me Strength doesn't boost your damage as much as Blood Boil Aromatic and it lasts even less. For some reason this weapon consumes a lot of stamina so be sure to craft some Pickle Turtle Necks to boost your stamina regeneration speed. If you don't want to farm runes or materials for your Elden Ring builds, MMO EXP is the best web service where you can easily acquire as much runes and items as you wish for the best price. Use my code CARLOSEN to get a 5% discount on your purchases. Thanks MMO EXP for sponsoring today's video. Now I'll show you how to buff your character with this build. First you have to use your Flask of Bonerous Physic as always, then Golden Vow, then your Pickle Turtle Neck as always, which is completely optional but is very useful in some scenarios. Then you're going to use your body buff. I will use Blood Boil Aromatic but feel free to use Flame Grand New Strength. The effect will be the same but Blood Boil Aromatic is a little bit more powerful. Refill your FP, your HP and with that you should be ready to go. Now that we have completed and optimized our build, what do you say? if we begin with the boss fight. Nice. Okay. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Let's go. Let's go! Nice guys. Okay, take a few hits of this. Come on. Nice. Very good guys. Oh my god, I can see. That's the only problem of fighting at that distance. You can't actually see what's going on. Yeah, I'll give it the the regular kit attack. Nice. Let's go. Let's go. Nice. I didn't take any damage. Let's go. <laughs> nice. Not one. Okay. Now you're going down, bad boy. Say goodbye. Come on. Of course. Beautiful, baby. Beautiful damage. Okay, it's a maximum of two heavy attacks. Here comes the first one. Nice.
Come on. Nice. Maybe maybe this is going to happen well, guys. Come on. Come on. This is the good one, baby. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Nice. Amazing. No one can resist three of these things, baby. Come on. Take one. Come on. One, two, three. One, two. Let's go. We do, we do it after this one. Come on. Come on. Come on. Give it to me. Give it to me. Let's go, baby. Oh, my God. Come on, Swarm of Flies. Do your thing. Quite amazing. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on, baby. Let's go. Give it to me. Give it to me. <laughs> Very nice. That's a good start. Bad boy. This is my chance. I have to do it here. Nice, I knew it. Come on, baby. Say goodbye, Bale. It's over for you, homie. Oh, let's go! <laughs> Very nice! <laughs> to the ground where you have to be let's go baby come on finally took a few tries guys and the fact that we're dealing mostly this last damage doesn't help that much you know Okay, that's progress. Come on. Come on, baby. Let's go, let's go, let's go. That's the best we can do, guys. We are dealing slash damage. Come on. 